Callum! Go and get the door. Hello? Hello. Uh, are you Callum Boots? Yes. Would your mom and dad be in place? Hey guys, it's me, Adam B, and today in this video, my little brother is actually going back to school. But guess what? He can't. That's because we've actually hired a professional actress today to pose as a teacher. Hi, Hi. Kathy. Hi, Adam. So, Kathy, today you are going to be coming to the house. Mm -hmm. You're going to tell Callum that because his attendance is low, mm -hmm. he can't proceed into his next school year. Right. But today you're going to become Olivia Toll Rooney today. Yes. So, you're going to become Mrs. Toll Rooney. Wow, oh, you God. even got a. <gasps> she's got a badge as well. Ready? Doing yes, well. I am. I, I she's looking mean. She's looking very mean. Because there, there are some jobs that teachers really don't want to do. Yeah. And I have this heavy case load at the minute, and I'm going around all the schools, and I have to do this. So that's why I'm coming on a Sunday because my stress levels and my workload is huge. Okay. And yes. I have to come and let Callum know that he can't you, go to school tomorrow. Are you okay, Olivia? I'm all right now. Yes. Okay. This is Oscar Wilde. <laughs> Get this woman an award. <laughs> come on, that hey, looks very official, applause, right? Applause. Do you have a book? book as well? I have a big book. And what's God. inside the book? This is actual factual stuff here, by the way. So she has a list of things, a list of Calum's teachers' names, Calum's birthday. So you're like, you know everything going yep. into, into this meeting yep. with okay. Calum. No, you obviously you supplied this. She's just not a stalker. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <have you? laughs> We are going to prank Callum by pretending that he got expelled from school. So, mum and dad, how well do you think Callum's going to believe this prank? I think she looks official. Uh, I think she does. The only thing is this Sunday. Uh, no, I have. I've thought, I've thought about You've that. you covered it. Because my workload is, is huge. And, and, and you don't, don't get it started. Don't get it started. Don't get it started. It's huge. I'm, I'm really sorry, Mrs. Bees, that I had to come out to you on a oh, Sunday. On a Sunday. Do you know what? No, it's, it's, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Callum will ever forgive me for the amount of pranks that I pull on him. He won't. He's at the stage where, you know when you dread going back to school, but it's literally Sunday when we're recording this and he goes back tomorrow. And he's actually like, he has that school excitement, you know, like that new school year excitement. Yeah. And now whenever Kathy comes to the house, or should I say, Olivia, Olivia. he's going to be completely broken. <laughs> okay, let's go. We've arrived. Okay, I think Callum is upstairs. Now it's time for Operation Hide the Cameras. So we have a camera set up here. Now it may look very obvious, but there's cameras lying about this house all the time. So fingers crossed, Callum doesn't think that anything suspicious is going on. I think he'll be like so worked up that he'll not even realize that the cameras are here. Kathy is waiting outside. I am gonna text her to say that everything is good to go. Showtime! Showtime, 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 showtime. Let's do our showtime dance. Callum! Go and get the door. Hello. Uh, are you Callum Bates? Yes. Hello. Hello. Mr. Bates? Yes. Hello, it's lovely to meet you. Hi, how are you? Hello. And you are? Adam. Callum's brother. Callum's brother, right. Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Bates, this is a private matter, so I would really need your permission to see if Adam could stay in the room. Are you happy enough with that? Yeah, Hello, it's fine. <laughs> I'm not really quite sure how to, how to start. Mr. Mrs. Bain, but um, it's my job. Well, you might have actually seen me around the school because I'm in the school quite a bit. I liaise between the Education Authority and the college, and unfortunately, Callum, you're not going to be admitted back into the college. What? I would be sorry. What do, you, what do you mean he's not going to be admitted back in? Well, there are a few rules. There's, um, for example, attendance. If attendance falls under 85%, Callum's is actually 78%. 78%? 78%. 78%. And it, it's, it's an automatic. Like a point. Is this a new thing they're, they're bringing in? Or? Yeah, since, since Covid. It's, it's coming since Covid. 78%, but you always told us yours was above 80. It is. I thought it was over 80. Have you, yeah. I have some documentation here. Have you been really, like skipping lessons here that we don't know about? Yeah, seven, 78%. Yeah, you're supposed to be going into year 10, Callum, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mr. McBillan was telling me that, you know, he has no issues at all with your behaviour or how you're um, working in school. But unfortunately, this, this is why I'll leave the thing, Mr. and Mrs. Bates. He just can't come back to the college. Like, well, there's no there's no way to get him back or...? Well, there is a, an appeals process, but it, it's a, it's a quite involved and it involves a court. I would advise you to get a solicitor. They're going down really hard on everybody. And how long does that take? The court process, well, to get to court could take between three to six months. And also, I would advise you to, to get you know, some legal advice. Three to six months? So, I mean, so even if you got a P3, you can't join until next year then? Yeah. 
What does he so do for school? Do for school? Well, because he's not at GCSE level yet, the options are he'll just have to stay at home. I don't even know if homeschooling is an option. Also, I, I might say this, but you might be fined. What? What are you looking at fine ways do we, do we know? Um, I don't have the figures in my head. Now I'm panicking. I'm going to file my report to the school, the college, and let them know that I've been here and I've informed you. Is there any way like, you could just lie on our behalf and say it was actually 80 instead of 78? I'm the report's there. The report's there. It says mm -hmm. it. It says it. Does it? Where is it? Do you know? Well, I, I'll certainly go back to the college on the head. He was supposed to start school tomorrow morning. Like, when you you school tomorrow. I know that. That's why I'm here. And I give my sincere apologies for coming on a Sunday. My workload has been huge. But, you know, I, I deal with some of the other students too. Is there other people affected in the college? Yes, there are. But it's a private matter. And I, yeah. I can't, obviously, dis it's discuss it or dis disclose names. So this is a new thing to bring in this yeah. year. Low attendance. Yeah. You can't get back into school. Yeah. And Foyle College as well. It's it's happening there too. He was ready to go in like literally tomorrow, less than twenty four hours. Yeah. This is really late notice, like yeah. so. It is, and, and for that I, I can only but apologise. I should have been out here on Friday, but it's it's in the legislation where we don't give you prior notice that we're coming. We just kind of turn up. What happens if we had been out today? He would have done the school. I would have waited and come back. But hang on, none of, none of this is making any sense because Cal, unless you've been. No, you've been taking days off. Have you been know. taking days off behind our back? No, you Did seen my report? You haven't taken any days off. What are you days off? I don't know, I drop you into school. Have you been going like you're saying it was you asked for lessons? Have you been dogging lessons? No. That would cause your attendance to go down? No. Has there been events that you haven't been marked down for, like days out of school and they forgot they mark in when you've a day out? You're still at school but you're out or something? Does every teacher at the start of every class say Callum Bays and you say yes. here? So as of tomorrow now, he doesn't go to school, he's no. potentially in the house with us for another year. Yes. So he loses a year now yeah. in his education. Yeah, is this some sort of like joke? Because this oh. doesn't seem right. They'd be told a day before a child goes back to school. That I can't go to school. This is a joke because he's going to be like a 16 year old third year or something by the time, by the time he does get on the third year. Mm. Be honest right now, have you been taking days off school? No Adam, I haven't. Why do we get 78%? Because because get 70, 70, 70, if I had been before, like percent. your report, probably we could have got you in, but 78 is a lot lower. Yes. It's not my fault, it's your fault for keeping me off. He does have a, a very valid point there and that's what they will look into. Really? Yeah. Because yeah. we've, we've kept them off. Yeah. I think there's a mistake here somewhere. I wish there was um, a bit of leeway, but it's just they've got this line, and if you go below this line, it's now in, in the legislation that you're right here. There's going to be a load of kids now not going to school this year. Oh, but there are, are Mr. Reeds, and I tell you, I've been at their parents' houses, and it has been very unpleasant, very, very unpleasant day to bring this news to your family. It really is. It's actually quite upsetting, you know. Mm. Sorry. I've just had a, a very, very busy week. I'm really busy week behind all the families. Yeah. I really don't know what to do. This is added. This is Frank. This is Frank. Frank. Are you breaking off? No. No. You want to find this funny? Why are you buying this funny? Why are you laughing? I'm sorry. You my <laughs> wife laughs when she gets nervous. She always has them. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You know what? <laughs> You're going to have to do something. You can't sit here all year. It's not my fault. Sorry, we shouldn't be doing all this in front of you. It's... Don't, don't worry. It's not his fault. It's not my fault. Well, how's it our fault? It's your fault. How's it my fault? Well, it is. I have a problem with this. is your fault. No, it's your fault. Because you're, you're always asking and dragging here, there and everywhere. I during school holidays, I plan the days. I'm going to always encroach on a wee day here and a wee day there. All right, maybe three days in the school year. And then count on all the things I'm stuck for, like maybe one night. I need to get legal advice too. Everyone else is going to get an education and you're not. Maybe you never went to them before. The cut-off point, you're expelled and then the following year you're allowed back in. Oh, right, okay. so he's expelled. There's no possibility of a return to St. Columns. Well, oh. that changes things. Oh, you mean you can't go back to St. Columns? I'm just going to be honest with you. There is a possibility of it, yes. I'll get, I'll get out of your hair. You've been what's going on. Again, I'm very sorry. I'm Callum, all the best. We'll need it, we'll need it. I'm so sorry about this. We'll just let you out here, Miss. Uh, uh, we'll just thank, let you thank out. You. Thank you very, thank very much. much. Sorry again, again, I'm so sorry. See you later, Olivia. Bye. Thank you. And that was the end of school. Why did it change over summer? Because I had a doll over summer. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. Meet 
Kathy, Love Kathy, Callum. <laughs> She's not actually called Olivia. This is a paid actress who came to pose as the education authority. So I'm not expelled? You're, You're not expelled! Oh, yeah. 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 Callum, I really want you to say this to camera. What has happened? I got pranked. By who? Adam. We got ya! Can I just get a replay on your face as soon as you opened that door? It was like, huh. Oh. Good prank, bad prank? Bad prank. Bad prank? And it was your fault. Oh, it wasn't my fault? I didn't do anything, I got kept off. Kathy, can we just clarify, it's not really 78%, is it? It's not really 78%. <laughs> it's not 78%. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not 78%. See? You're safe, Cal. You're no. safe. That was a good prank. If you liked it, smash the like button, press subscribe. But that's been me, Adam B, and... Cal B. And... Kathy B. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs>